What is up guys, it's called my gun here and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own craft bucket servers. If you don't know what a craft bucket server is, uh, it's basically, it has loads of things added to it like plugins and those kind of extra features that you don't get on a normal Minecraft server. So this is a really good server to get, a client to get, so you should get this. Let's go on and start by going to your browser and go to bucket.org. That's where you will get your craft bucket server. There'll be a link in the description for anything happens. What the hell? Okay. Get craft bucket server. It'll bring you to this Wikipedia page of bucket. Now, um choose uh, whatever you have so I have Windows if you have Mac or these you have options so I have Windows so I'll click on that download the recommended build craft bucket recommended build click on that keep wait for the download to once your download has been finished go to the folder that you had downloaded copy that in go to your desktop or anywhere else make a new folder and name it bucket server or whatever you like go in that paste that jar file in there and don't forget to rename it and take this part out only leave the craft bucket part you only want the craft bucket part that's all or um, it might not work so let's make a text document and name it run open that run up now let's go back to our browser and the wikipedia the bucket wikipedia and copy this in this code right here copy that in your notepad right here once you have done that go to file save as go to run dot and after that type dot bat bat now save now this will appear right here open that up just wait for it and these files will start popping up that means your server is working and you'll see these things coming up and it's generating the world right now so that's a good sign just wait for it to prepare a spawn area and once it tells you done let's close out of that now we're done with that now um, if you want to learn how to port forward there will be an annotation somewhere click on that and it will tell you how to port forward but for now I'm using Hamachi so let's go on to Google here. Let's type Hamachi in. I'll put a download link in the description so you don't have to this is do this long process. Let's go to Hamachi. This is what will give you the IP and so that other people can join. So let's click on condition of use and download the unmanaged one. If you if you have a Mac, download the Mac version. Wait for the download to finish. The download has been finished. Set up the Hamachi. Run it. Preparing to install. And do this next. Um, set this up, but I already have a Hamachi version installed on this computer, so I won't set it up again. So just install this. Once you have installed it, open it up or search here Hamachi and open this up once you have opened that up let's go to Hamachi right here you you won't have this it'll be turned off and you won't have any IP so you just wanna click on this to turn it on and it'll give you a IP here and then I have these this is the one that I joined this is someone else's group and this is my room so if you want to create your own Hamachi network which you will have to 
so people other people can join your server go on network and you can't see it because I don't know what's wrong with it below here there will be join network if you want to join someone's put their ID in and put it in as they tell you so if there's a capital there put it in like that because um, Amachi detects everything like uh, it has to be perfect and on the top right here you'll have create a new network which mine's not showing up for some reason uh, you can just create your network um, put your network ID anything you want your name or anything then for password uh, just put one two three for simple use and then create once you have created that there you go this is the username one nine six five eight one six nine one that's just a random username I made so if someone wants to join your um, server they have to join through Hamachi so you have to tell them to get Hamachi and so they can join your server if you want to do, don't do that all this trouble there's another way there's a port forwarding way which um, you can, other people can directly join your server with your IP so you don't have to do this Hamachi thing but for beginner Hamachi is good to start with so go to network and tell them to join right here the second one put the ID in whatever it was the password and join and just give them the IP right here which is 5.10614.150 that's my Hamachi IP so let's go on to your bucket server and let's go on to the server properties right here if you have a server file looking like this this isn't the right one but if the file looks like this just um, go to properties file here over here this one right click on it go to open with and then find notepad click ok then it will open with um, notepad so don't forget it's properties file okay not the lck file or anything so server properties file okay so let's go on here now this is where you can set up your server this is my Hamachi IP right here um, if you go to server IP right here this is where you have to put your Hamachi IP there so I'll put it in right there 5.106.144.150 that's my Hamachi IP then let's go down to here at the start allow nether this is the nether if you wanna make it to false like if you don't want weather, um, nether on your server make it to false and this is the level name so your world name what's your world name gonna be so I can name it call of my gun here and this is your server folders right here world dash nether world dash the dash and this is your world so if you put something else here it'll generate a new uh, world folder so if you want the same world folder just change the name to whatever you put in there so let me put call of my gun don't change the nether part and don't forget the capitals because I had a capital at the start so there you go this is my world file so it won't create a new one because of the level name I changed it to call of my gun and if you want flight so if you want to fly on your server you should allow this make it to true because I like flying and other people too so I wouldn't change that spawn NPCs if you don't want them to spawn spawn just put defaults everything is simple and if you don't know what whitelist is it's basically a thing for creating um, pr your own private server so if you turn this whitelist to true for example and I go to whitelist over here text document put the person's name in that you want on your server so I want calls my gun that is me of course 
on my server so I'll save that so I'm all I'm the only one that can join join so let's go to spawn animals I want them to spawn online mode now this this is what you can crack your server and uncrack it uncrack means people that have cracked clients can join your server if this online mode is at false so if I keep it at false crack clients and premium um, clients can join your server so you can keep that to false or true I normally keep it to true because if I have a cracked client user joining my server they can change their name to anything they want so yeah I don't want that so I only want premium server premium client people in my server so for PvP if you don't want um, this just turn to false simple default um, you can turn it to whatever you like one two three game mode game mode means um, survival or creative so zero means survival and if you put it to one it'll mean creative okay maximum players if you want 20 or more just put that in spawn monsters generate structure and the model motto you can just put anything you want here basically and yeah let's save this now now let's run your server wait for it to load Once it says done, let's go to Minecraft. Let me log in and let's go to multiplayer and let's get our Hamachi IP, which was where I put in my server properties right here 5.106.144.150 copy that let's add a server done this is my server and do you remember what I put in over here call of my gun server so that's how you can change that over here you can put a welcome message or anything like that double click on that and you can join voila thanks for watching guys if you have any trouble look at the description there will be additional information down there and if your craft bucket still doesn't work it shows errors and all those things um, you can leave a video response below or comment and um, there will be a download link in the description for a server file if it doesn't work if any any of this doesn't work you can just download the craft bucket server I already made choose 32 bit or 60 60 bits so yeah I'll see you guys later thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe there will be more videos coming up soon and there's more plugins and more to come so Subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.